I personally find beauty when we see the natural and the built worlds come together. There's an elegance to it. There's a challenge to it. We're looking at what we refer to as multi-hazard resilience modeling. Instead of looking at individual threats like an earthquake and how bridges perform under earthquakes, we try to look at these multiple hazards or multiple threats that a system might be exposed to over its lifetime. In a hurricane, we have rainfall, we have wind, we have storm surge and waves. So it's this combination of hazards that we explore. You can't look at these things in a silo. You have to look at all the interdependencies that uh, are around them. And that really makes it the work much more complex. A bridge is a classic example where certainly we want rigorous models of that, the performance of that structure. But we also look at the role that it plays and seeing how we can improve performance of that entire network to serve society. We're able to develop tools that predict and project how systems will perform because that's where we can make real impact on improving public safety. We will literally save lives with this work and sometimes it's disconnected from the work that we do and that's why I think her work is so impactful. These are pieces of infrastructure that we can easily take for granted, but their failure can be catastrophic and we are doing everything that we can to help avoid that.